Last week, we introduced 16-week-old Enzo to his first live birds. We planted three different pigeons for him. And whenever you're starting your puppy on bird work and pointing, it's important that you come back and hit it again in a relatively short amount of time. For some reason, it really helps puppies if they get to sleep on something for a night or a few nights, and then to come back again and do it while it's still fresh in their head will really help solidify those concepts. So we came back with 17-week-old Enzo. This is about six days after his first bird session, and we recorded his interactions with the three live pigeons that we put down for him today. Let's pause and talk about what happened in that first video with the first bird. So as Enzo came into the screen, he was still just searching, he hadn't really winded the pigeon yet, and unfortunately he didn't smell this particular bird until he was almost right on top of it. But the nice thing is that once he entered the scent cone, he did just lock up, you could see his body go rigid, his tail went straight. You know, he knew that he was supposed to be standing there on point instinctively. And then he did a really nice job of remaining steady through the flush sequence. Even with the pigeon just on the ground, several feet in front of him, flopping around, he didn't move. And then as it flew and the shot was fired, he still never really moved. I'm still holding him there just in case. I want to make sure that I have control and that he doesn't get released for the retrieve until he's calm and relaxed. Uh, we did cut this video clip short for the sake of time, but suffice to say that Enzo got to go out and retrieve this pigeon because he behaved appropriately. So... Let's jump in and see how Enzel handled the second bird. In this second bird sequence, Enzo does a much better job of coming in and winding the bird from some distance and then pointing it from distance. So you can see he completely stopped on his own. I didn't pull the check cord tight. Uh, he was a little loose at first. You could see he was still kind of wagging his tail. However, he did stand there nicely then and remain on point. And I'm certainly willing to give up a little bit of style if it means that I have a dog that's really easy to steady up through the wing shot fall sequence later. Anyways, you can see that Enzo did a nice job of standing there on point while the pigeon was flushed and shot, and so he got rewarded with a retrieve. All right, next let's see how he performed on the third and final bird of this training session.
On the third bird for this training session, you can see that Enzo overshoots the scent cone by just a little bit, but then works it on his own to come back and lock up on point. And he actually locked up in a really staunch point here. So we felt like we had the opportunity, given his steadiness in the previous birds, to take a few photos of him on point. So this video clip is a little longer, as you can see that we're passing the camera back and forth to get a few photos of Enzo on point. Then we walk in to flush the bird. Uh, this pigeon was missed, so you can see that I pulled a dead pigeon out of my bag, and we threw that up in the air and fired a shot, and then gave Enzo the retrieve. So I would strongly recommend that you keep a dead bird in your bag, just in case this happens while you're training. Uh, we certainly don't want the puppy to think that they are not going to get rewarded with the retrieve after standing there for a couple minutes of us taking photos of him on point. So I was glad that we had a dead bird here so that he could still be rewarded for all that steadiness work. Overall, uh, this was pretty typical second session of working a puppy on live birds where we saw a little bit of pointing instinct last week. And now six days later, we're seeing him lock up on his own and he's just gonna continue to gain confidence and point further and further from the birds as he learns how to use his nose better and develops his search.